I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. So today we've got super quick and easy pendants for beginners. I've put a list of everything you'll need to make these pendants in the description below. These are drilled stones, so we've got a hole top to bottom. They're like large beads. Let's get started. So to make the first one, you'll need a large bead. So this is just a flat bead and it's drilled from top to bottom so when you buy them there's like a great big long string with loads on so just any kind of large bead it can be any shape any size you like mine is 18 by 15 millimeters approximately and we'll need a 0.8 millimeter wire which is 20 gauge one length at five inches, which is 13 centimetres, and a little bit of weaving wire, that's 0.315 millimetre, 28 gauge, just one little length at four inches, which is 10 centimetres. So tools, I've got my pliers, my cutters, and my round nose pliers, and I'm gonna be quick and try and squeeze the three pendants into this one video. So find which side of the bead you want forward facing, and pop it on your wire, kind of central, and then at the top, we're going to bend it over to the right. I think to hold it in place, what we can do is we can take the bottom and bend it forward. Just bend it directly forward. And that will stop it keep coming off. I've moved it to the side out of the way for now. So the top wire goes over to the left. I hope I'm not confusing you. I'm just trying to hold the bead on so it doesn't keep sliding about. So take your top wire and we're going to curl it around and we're going to bring it over the front of the stone so we've got a little loop on the top and then we're just going to bring this wire around into a pretty shape like so and the bottom wire I'm going to push over to this side and we're just going to bend that one around that way. So one comes one way and one goes the other way, like so. And the wires have to meet in the middle. Take your little bit of weaving wire. And we're going to attach to the top wire there. So we'll wrap around three times. Slide it down. Take it behind this wire. So we're going to wrap around both the wires now to tie them together. So we're going to have to post the wire behind. And you want to wrap around the two wires three times. So then bring your wire up between the two wires. And we're just going to wrap three times around that top wire. I'm using silver filled today and it is really quite shiny. I don't normally use silver filled, but I found a bag of it in the drawer. So I thought I'd use it up. Cut your ends off, flatten them down with your pliers. So you should have this. And then we're going to cut the wire. And we're going to curl them into little curls. Do you want to cut them? Cut them as long as you want really. I'm cutting mine quite short. I don't know why it keeps going out of focus. I think it's because my stone's so shiny. I think it's all a bit shiny today. And then take your round nose pliers and we're going to curl the wire. So we're going up and we're going down on that side. Of course you can do whatever you want. This is just a cute little design. Oh, it's my watch that is. Cute little design I thought I'd share with you. If you're new to wire work, then it just gets you used to bending the wires and handling the weaving wire and that. As always, I forgot to mention, you're gonna need a jump ring. I'm just gonna pop that on the top. So there's number one finished. 
quite cute looking. Let's jump into number two. So to make the second version, again, you're going to need a bead. I'm just using one of the same ones from before. So it's a large bead drilled from top to bottom and it's flat and you can use anything you like. Because you could, I've got some hearts that are drilled from the top to the bottom as well. Any kind of bead or cab that is drilled top to bottom. Any size, any shape. And today I'm going to, on this design, I'm going to use a little bead as well. So I've got a little uh, five millimeter bead. Remembering my jump ring this time. So it's a eight millimeter outside measurement on the jump ring. The wires, we've got 0.8 millimeter, 20 gauge wire. We've got one length at uh, six inches, which is 15 centimeters, and one length at three inches for the bead, which is eight centimeters. Little length of 0.315 millimeter weaving wire, 28 gauge, and that is four inches, which is 10 centimeters. I think that's everything there tools, pliers, uh, cutters, round nose pliers. So take your bead and your main base wire. I'm going to pop it on there, kind of position it centrally. And then the top wire. Bend over a little bit the one way, bend it around the other way. I'm going to scoop it all the way around into a loop so we can attach our chain or cord onto the top there. And then as the wire comes down, sort of uh, centrally, we're going to put a bend in the wire. So we're going to go around all the way around so we've got a nice loop in the middle there And then we're going to take that wire around the bottom wire. So make sure your bottom wire is straight and make sure it hasn't slipped. You want it up nice and high. Hold the front in shape and hold it up high on the wire there. So it's not going to move. And we're going to take this wire around that bottom wire. Gonna squeeze that around so it's nice and tight fitting. Oh, this little monkey keeps bending. And then I'm just gonna cut that. So that just finishes off around that wire there. So then we're going to take the bottom wire, going to bend it towards yourself and then curl it around the other way. Bring it all the way around the other way so we've got a little loop at the bottom there. So I've turned it upside down just so it's easier to hold. And then we're going to bring the wire over the front of the stone. And then when we get to here, the top here, we're going to take our little bit of weaving wire and join onto the other wire. So I'm just squeezing that loop at the bottom so it's a little bit flatter so that the wire sits next to itself. And we're going to attach here. So grab your little bit of weaving wire. And we're going to wrap three times around this wire to attach. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can so we can fit three little designs into the one video. And then we're going to go around the two wires. So you need to post it sort of around so we can go around the two. And we want to curl at the top there. So you want to pull it down to about there and now we want to go around 
going to bend this up a little bit. We're going to go around the two wires three times. So that means posting it around and pulling it through three times. So when you've gone around three times, then you want to bring your wire up between the two wires. If you keep pushing it together as well it'll keep it nice and tidy and then we're just going to wrap around the single wire three times so we need to cut that wire at both ends and flatten it down flatten the cut ends down with pliers so you should have something like that and then we're going to cut this top wire and just finish it off into a little curl. Do round those pliers and then bend that around. So keep holding the front wires in place as you curl it around so you don't pull any wires out of place. So now we just need to add the jump ring. Got about the little bead so grab your bead and your other length of wire and what we'll do we'll curl the top first so cut your end so it's nice and flush because mine's got like a, a pointy cut end and to save time on the video i'll show you how to do it on this one and do the same thing for the next one sort of grabbing it centrally on the pliers and bend it around until it meets focusing on my finger instead of the wire and then we're going to grip it and just pull it straight down I'm going to pop the bead on we're going to bend the wire directly over I'm going to wrap around the bead now this might be easier to do if you hold the top there I don't know I don't think it is actually so you want to just wrap around your bead I think this is just going to be fiddly whatever we do with it And when you've gone around once, go around again. I'm going to keep pushing it back so it fully goes around the stone. And then when it gets to the top, holding the front down, go around that top loop. So this appears a little bit fiddly because I'm rushing and I'm trying to get them all done really quick and this wire is a nightmare that's my excuse so I'm just wrapping the wire around that loop there at the top and there we have a little dangle now we'll attach that to the bottom with the jump ring, so we're going to need another jump ring. So I've made a little 8mm jump ring and the other one is actually a 10 So you just want something a bit smaller for the bottom. And then we're going to attach our bead. So pop your bead and onto your jump ring and pop your jump ring through the bottom. And you should have something like this. So this is number 2 finished. So for the third design, you'll need the same again, a little bead, a large bead, sorry, drilled from top to bottom, any shape, any size, a small bead, mine is 5mm, you'll need two jump rings, you need two jump rings for the last one, I forgot to mention the second one, 10mm outside measurement and 8mm outside measurement, and then your wires, we've got 0.8mm, which is 20 gauge, one length at 6 inches, one length at 3 inches for the bead, so that's 15 centimetres and 8 centimetres. And then you'll need a little length of weaving wire, 28 gauge, um, 4 inches, which is 10 centimetres. And I think that's everything. So we've got our tools, pliers, cutters, round nose pliers. So make your little bead up the same way as we did with the other one. 
curl the end first, pop it through, bend it to the side, go around past the front and then around again and wrap around the top. So we've got that so done. Grab your bead and your wire, find the front of your bead, pop it onto your wire. I'm going to go more towards the top this time. So we've got more length at the bottom. Again, bend the wire over the one way and then scoop it over the other. Makes a nice little loop for the top to attach it. your chain. I'm knocking everything over. And I'm just making sure that's nice and flat. And the wire comes across the front there. And then move to your bottom wire. It's probably best to finish off this top wire so it's not in the way. I've got a little cut end there, so I'm just going to trim that very tip off so it's nice and flush. And then I'm going to, I've really got much room today, and then I'm going to curl that around this way. misshaped it a little bit make sure that top is nice and flat the front comes over the stone so we've got the top there just like that and then I'm going to do the bottom so again pull your stone up so it's not slipped down pull the stone up nice and high and then hold in the front in place so we're not the wire is not going to slide anywhere again we're going to bend it over to the left and then we're going to scoop it over to the right as we did for the top I'm going to make a little loop I'm putting my finger to the back of the wire so I've got something to lean on when I make my loop as the wire comes over the stone I'm going to grip it there with my, my thumb and I'm going to pull the wire around straight away into a little curl. Gracie's dreaming. So that's all pulled out of shape. So I'm going to pull that back down. Make sure that's nice and flat at the bottom. So we've got a little curl like that. And then I'm going to take this wire and pull it out a bit more and I'm going to bring it back around this way. And then I'm going to mess about with the wire because I know I've misshaped it again. So we've come out the bottom, gone straight around into a loop that way, scooped up and come over the other way. If you're a beginner, this is great for getting used to handling your wires because it is tricky, but if you can, you know, keep making these, make a few of them and get used to all these tight curls and things, it really does help you in the future with all your wire handling and things. So now we're going to attach this wire to that little curl there. So get your even wire, presuming you've cut all your wires in advance. I'm going to wrap three times around that one. Slide it down. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate you guys. And we're going to go around the two. So that means post it through the loop. I do love doing these little videos for you all. And I really would appreciate if you all just tick that subscribe button. And it really helps me out. So we've only got the one wire here. So every time you move, every time you bend, every time you wriggle the wires about, the other bit can move because it's all joined. You're going to have to constantly keep adjusting your wire shape. So as I'm attaching to this one, I'm still pushing it back because it keeps moving. So we want to go around those two wires, 
three times to join as we did for the other ones. So I've gone around three times, push it all together to keep it tidy. And then I'm gonna go uh, three times around the single wire. Cut your wires, press down the cut ends with your pliers, your standard pliers. And then we're gonna cut off this wire and pull it round into a curl. So with your round nose pliers, going to pull that wire around into a curl. So now we need the big jumping at the top and the little jumping at the bottom with the bead on it. So once you've pieced it together, there we have it finished. Quite a cute little design. So you can adapt and change and you can do so much with this little thing. Curl it however you want. You could add as many beads or dangles on that you want to. So I hope you found these little tutorials easy to follow. And they haven't confused you too much. There's a lot you can do with just a simple design. So have a play around and I'd love to see what you make if you're on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see what you come up with. And thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. So thanks for watching another one of my videos. Please subscribe if you and hit the notification icon if you want to be notified of new videos that I do. Um, please like and comment on this video. And let me know what you thought. If you want to see my written tutorials, they're over on Etsy. You'll find the link below. There might even be a link on the screen. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Gracie, if you didn't know. See you in the next one. Bye.